Just a couple drops of marijuana oil helps treat a man's Parkinson's symptoms. But can marijuana cure Parkinson's altogether? We're gonna answer that question right now on IO. Hello there, beautiful people of YouTube. My name is Charlotte. Welcome back to Inform Overload, your YouTube source for trending news. So chances are, depending on when you're watching this, I'm gonna be in Europe for the holidays, and I'll be back on January 4th. So unfortunately, I won't be on IO. But if you're interested, I'll be posting vlogs on my channel and I'll be taking pictures like crazy. So follow me on Instagram if you like photography. All right, enough chit chat and self promotion. Let's talk about Larry Smith, the former police officer whose life has changed from using medical marijuana. Larry began suffering from Parkinson's disease 20 years ago, and the symptoms keep getting worse. Parkinson's disease occurs when the brain slowly stops generating dopamine, which helps control movement. People suffering from Parkinson's have a variety of symptoms that make it harder to walk, speak, and coordinate muscle movement. Larry suffers from terrible dyskinesia, which is a symptom of Parkinson's, and it's characterized as impairment of voluntary movement. Before being introduced to marijuana, Larry took 20 different prescription medications a day. Apparently, the medications he's been taking have actually made his dyskinesia worse. According to Larry, his symptoms are a great deal more obvious than ever before, and the pain is a little sharper. In a video series that's going viral on the internet, Larry met with another man suffering from Parkinson's who gave him a drop of cannabis oil that he put under his tongue. It was so amazing to watch the symptoms completely disappear. Well, not like entirely, but compared to what they were before, he was almost unrecognizable. The symptoms just stopped. His voice came back, his hands were steady. When the video was ending, Larry says, A person like me could really use marijuana, and it makes me pretty angry that I can't get it in my home state. As a part of the video series, a doctor named Danielle Piomelli is interviewed. He's a professor of pharmacology at UC Irvine's medical school. He said the following The number one frustration that I have is knowing that there is untapped potential that comes from what marijuana is teaching us to generate new medicines and being stuck because of financial or political issues. That's extremely frustrating. Like many Americans, Larry could face serious jail time for using medical marijuana. It is still illegal at a federal level. How is it that something that you can clearly see the benefits of so frowned upon? However, the effects of marijuana are still being studied, so it's not clear at this time if there's a downside to using marijuana to treat Parkinson's. So to answer the question, can marijuana cure Parkinson's? Well, it didn't cure Larry's Parkinson's, he still has it. But who knows what the potential of medical marijuana is? We just don't. New drugs obviously need to be tested and made. To this day, there is no known cure for Parkinson's. Let's hope that in a few years, maybe even less, this terrible confusion about medical marijuana will finally end and people like Larry can go on living their lives without at least the symptoms of their diseases. Alrighty guys, I'm just about out of here. I'll respond to a couple of your comments now. I'm a potato said. How did you know I'm a potato? I have a six potato sense. I always know when someone's a potato. You can't hide it from me! The one and only potato said, hello humans. Hello potato. I love these potato accounts. Honestly, they make me feel like really giddy for some reason. <laughs> Blue Israel said, I always super weird and even the people are weird as I guess so, but I'd rather be weird than boring. But if you guys are down to see more of my weirdness, I'll catch up with you on my channel and on Instagram. But if not, I shall see you in the new year. Bye.